Good afternoon. I hope you can join us again tonight at 5.30 for a special seven local news wrap-up of the flood situation in our region. That's 5.30 tonight. See you then. Great. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Back to you, Rob. Thanks very much, Grace. That was Grace Tobin with Rockhampton Regional Council Mayor Brad Carter. Well, of course, people living along the Fitzroy River will be watching closely tonight as the water level approaches seven metres. Locals are securing their valuables and many still have vivid memories of the 1991 floods. Now, we need to emphasise that the current predictions point to only moderate flooding around Rockhampton. But, of course, a lot depends on how much more rain falls in the catchment areas in the next few days. The man who can tell us more is our own weather expert, Livio Regano. So what should we expect, Liv? Yes, well, thanks, Rob. It certainly has been a big week for the Capricornia. The Fitzroy catchment is still trying to recover, of course, from last week's rain early this month. Are we to see a new wave of rain that's just swept across the region and it continues to fall? Hopefully that will be over in the next 24 hours. But, of course, floodwaters continue to rise. At the moment, they're still upstream. We're expecting a peak at Rockhampton sometime early next week in the Fitzroy River, about 7.8 metres. But, of course, with all this extra rain, who's to know what will happen in times ahead? Thanks, Rob. Thanks very much, Liv. You've certainly been busy. And Liv will be back a little later in the bulletin with a detailed look at what's ahead for us. And the Weather Bureau still has flood warnings in place for several other rivers around our region. Heavy rainfall overnight has led to renewed rises throughout the Connors Isaac system. Moderate flood levels are forecast along the Isaac River at Yatton. Major flooding is continuing in the Comet River at Comet Weir, with river levels expected to remain high with renewed rises tonight. At the Mackenzie River, minor to moderate flood levels will continue to ease downstream of the Comet Weir. For the Dawson River, renewed rises are occurring in the Dawson Creek catchment above Taroon. Our crews have been out and about in the Banana Shire today, speaking with residents and authorities about the Dawson River flooding. We'll bring you that story a little later. Plus, Claire Robinson spoke with Banana Shire Mayor John Hooper for an update. Yeah, thanks very much for that, John. For a bird's eye view now of how the floods are developing, we join helicopter pilot Ken Hansen this afternoon. Kent usually takes to the sky mustering cattle, but he put those skills to good use to show us just how vast the floodwaters are and where it's all coming from. Stay with us here on 7 Local News in a moment. Gladstone's Awonga Dam overflows for the first time in eight years. And we'll take you to Baralabar, where the town has been split by floodwaters. That's next. Nice having you with us. One town being seriously affected is Baralabar, west of Gladstone. It's been split by rising floodwaters for nearly two weeks now. The main bridge has been underwater, isolating the mines, stranding workers and flooding crops. Well, watching the Fitzroy River's rise has become a spectator sport for many locals who've been lining the banks to watch the river come up. We were down there earlier today having a chat to locals, some who haven't seen it like this before. Well, the only important factor is how much more rain we're in for over the next few days. We'll get the very latest from Livio in just a moment. Hello again, Livio Regano with tonight's special weather report for the Capricorn region. A new wave of heavy rain has swept across the Fitzroy catchment, putting extra pressure on a basin that's already saturated from rain earlier this month. Swollen rivers continue to drain towards the Capricorn coast, with floodwaters expected to peak early next week. A few spots along the Comet River have in fact recorded their highest levels since the 1950s. Now, this map shows rainfall so far this month as a percentage of the December average. In just over a week, the places where you see blue or purple have already recorded more than three times their full ration for the month of December, and it's not even Christmas yet. Now, a few sample figures for the past 24 hours. Bullion scored 81 millimetres. Biloela had 61. That's at the airport. Baralabar, 57 mils, and quite a few unofficial figures above 100 millimetres. Now, onto the satellite loop, of course, we've got the huge mass of rain and storms that's developed along the East Coast in exact accordance with the forecast. But more of interest to me is a very active phase out to the northwest of Australia. Lots of storms out there could be coinciding with the so-called 40-day wave or Madden Julie Oscillation, which is basically a system that moves along the equator every three to five weeks, and it's due to peak around Queensland sometime over Christmas. And this is very likely to coincide with the first onset of 
of tropical cyclones for the season. So you really do have to watch that space. Let's go straight to today's chart now. Well, uh, you can see, oh, there's a satellite loop again. Here's the chart. You can see a low sitting just north of Rockhampton along a trough. Now, of course, the trough is the li lifting mechanism that's converting those very moist and humid northerly winds, raising them to condensation and bringing all that cloud. On the outlook chart, see how the trough moves offshore. The bulk of the rain should clear the Cap Capricorn coast, but there'll still be showers and storms in its wake. Let's take a look at the expected flood levels over coming days. Now, the Dawson River at Mowra just peaked around 12 metres today and should reach 7 metres at Taroom in a couple of days' time. For the Fitzroy River, we're still waiting for the peak to reach Rivers Lee, which is about three days upstream of Rockhampton. At Rocky itself, the flood peak should reach about 7.8 metres on Tuesday or Wednesday, ignoring, of course, the effect of today's rain. Now on to the Capricornia district forecast. Flood warnings continue for the Fitzroy Basin and all coastal rivers south of Rockhampton. Tonight's rain should ease to scattered showers tomorrow with isolated storms in the afternoon or evening. Much the same outlooks expected for Tuesday and Wednesday. For the central highlands and coalfields, isolated showers and thunderstorms over northeast parts tomorrow, but just about fine everywhere else and a little bit cooler in the south to southeasterly breeze. Storms will return to the whole district on Tuesday and Wednesday. Looking ahead now, the Bureau's latest seasonal outlook still shows a strong swing of the odds in favour of a wetter than average summer, around 60 to 70 per cent in fact, which is a pretty bold statement for a conservative computer model. We're looking at the region shaded in green, which extends from the Capricorn coast to the southern highlands. It's all based on the latest sea surface temperature map that's been updated since last week. It still shows that classic La Nina pattern, long tongue of cold water stretching out from South America across the equatorial Pacific and loads of warm water in the Coral Sea to fuel any tropical cyclones that might form along the monsoon trough. That's all for now, folks, but I will be back tomorrow night with all the latest for the Capricorn region. Hope you can join me then. Now it's back to you, Rob. Yeah, good on you, Liv. Thanks very much for that, mate. We'll take a break in a moment. We'll be back with a recap on the latest situation. So join us then here on 7. Thanks very much for joining us for this special presentation of 7 Local News. And thanks to all the people who've helped us out over the weekend. And to the SES crews, all we hear are terrific reports on the job you guys are doing. So well done. So before we go tonight, a quick recap on the current situation. The Fitzroy River is expected to reach 7 metres later tonight and continue to peak at 7.8 metres either tomorrow or Tuesday. Flood warnings are also current for the Connors, Isaac, Comet, Mackenzie and Dawson Rivers. And there are road closures affecting the Fitzroy Development Road as well. Uh, in other news, there are um, SES remains on full alert. Just reminding you of that, of course. So if you do need assistance, they're number 132 500. Uh, the Rockhampton Regional Council's Disaster Coordination Centre is also taking calls. Their number 1300 22 5577. We'll be back with 7 Local News tomorrow night at 6 with a more comprehensive coverage of the flood situation and, of course, the rest of the day's news. Thanks very much for joining us. Stay with us now for 7 News with Gillian Whiting. From the team, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Good night.